IA in accordance with their mandate has over the years contributed immensely to peace, security, social, economic, and political development of this, of this great country, Nigeria. Indeed, there is no other time than now where we need the, the decisions, policies, and programs of the Council to, to, be translated, to be translated into practice by all Muslims in the country. The Council's next meeting therefore captures the essence of peace in attainment of national development and underscores its commitment to the promotion of peace, security and development which justifies the existence of every government. I therefore respectfully call on all Muslims Ummah in the country to embrace the communic to embrace the communic the communique that will be reached that will be reached here today in form of advice and decisions by the council, especially those related to our personal affairs as Muslims Ummah in the country and those that will guide our relationship with other faiths as we promote a peace coexistence in this country. Um, I've listened to the speech of His Eminence where he talked about justice and also the Minister of Communication talked about justice and injustice and I think he did not mention the consequences of injustice. And I think it's timely. The conference is timely and it and this is the right time for us to address our problems in Nigeria. The problems have been escalating from one thing to the other. Thinking that General Muhammad Buhari will solve it alone. He cannot do it alone. We have to work together to make sure that we do the needful. We that are Muslims, we operate within the guidelines of Islamic uh, injunctions. And also, uh, like the Minister of uh, Communication has just mentioned about social media, where they have mentioned about the Vice President has resigned. People laughed. It's not a laughing matter. It's a serious matter. You cannot just sit under the comfort of your house or zone and tweet that Mr. Vice President has resigned. It's a serious crime. If China can control 1.8 billion people on social media, I've seen no reason why Nigeria should not attempt, attempt, attempt controlling only 180 million people. We must do justice to ourselves. Most of us here, as a result of the long term of injustice done to others, Today, most of us cannot go to our villages and sleep with, with our two eyes closed. We all know that. And it's moving forward and forward. And my husband has three years to go. We should either fasten our seatbelt, get up, and do the needful, or we will all regret it very soon. Because at the rate things are going, things are completely out of hands. VP is here, some ministers are here, they're supposed to do justice to whatever. People cannot afford portable drinking water in this country. We have ministers, we have governors. Since this is the highest decision-making body of, of Islamic affairs, for those that are Muslims, we should fear God. And we know that one day we will return to God and account for our deeds here. Finally, I hope that the decisions, debates, and engagements here today will be fruitful with the view to reaching realistic decision for shaping our lives as a nation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to lead and guide the leadership and guide the leadership of the council for the optimum progress of the deen, the mankind, and our great nation. In my short speech, if I offend anybody, please forgive me. Today is Friday. And may the Almighty Allah forgive us all of us. 
Allahumma anta rabbi la ilaha illa anta khalaqtani wa ana abduka wa ana ana ahadika wa wahadika masadatu auzubika min sharri ma sanatu abulaka bi ni'matika bi ni'matika alayya wa abu bi dhanbi fa'firli fa innahu la yanfuru dhunuba illa anta